Yo, what's going on out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with two money glitches in one video. These are two card duplication glitches for you guys to take advantage of this weekend. You guys have been asking me for some card dupe glitches. These are working at the moment. They do require a bit of timing, but once you get that timing down, you are set. All right, so I'm just going to shout out all the founders right now. You got Bruntango, Killer Gaming, uh, Boca Boy. I think even Tudo had a little bit to do with this. So shout out to all of those guys. They did a great job on these glitches. And the first one I'm going to show you actually involves the bunker and the MOC. So what you guys need is you need a friend. Both these glitches, you need one friend. Okay, they're two-person glitches. You guys need the same bunker. You both need MOCs with the personal vehicle storage. You want to go ahead and throw an RH8 or a Fagio inside of the MOC and you need the ability to sign in as a CEO or an MC. We're gonna be using CEO in this video. And then obviously you want a Benny's vehicle somewhere to go ahead and dupe, and you do not need custom plates for this glitch. Okay guys, you don't need custom plates for either one of these glitches, you just need one friend, few different requirements for the other one, but we're just gonna focus on this first glitch right now. Okay, so here's the setup. Basically, I, I'm when I refer to myself as me, I, I'm the duper. I'm always going to be the duper. The friend, I'm going to have a little screen in the top right. That's going to be the helper. So I'm always going to say I as the duper, my friend as the helper. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to walk into my MOC. My friend is in his bunker, just standing wherever. It doesn't really matter. He's going to go ahead and sign in as a CEO and invite me to his organization and then hover over retire. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and open up my phone and I'm going to hover over his invitation. Now, right when I say go, I'm accepting it and he's retiring. Okay, so there you go. You see that? I accepted and he retired right after. All right, that's what you want. If nothing happens, you did it right. So what's going to happen now is I need a Martin, Simeon, or Gerald job in my phone. I'm going to walk up to the, to the end of the trailer and then I'm going to go ahead and launch the job. Then I'm going to back out of it and then, and then just sit on the confirm to quit. My friend is gonna go ahead and hover over register as a CEO, all right? And right when I tell him, right when I say go, I'm gonna start spamming A or X, and he is gonna go ahead and register and retire very quickly, okay? So go, I'm spamming A right now, he hears that, he's gonna go ahead and register and then retire. If done correctly, what should happen is I should spawn inside of his bunker, okay? That's what's gonna happen, you're merging bunkers together, all right? I know the timing on that and I might have explained it a little bit quickly, but that's as clear cut as I can be. If I go like a lot slower, you guys can't really see what, you know, the, the exact timing is. So if done correctly, you're going to see your friend there. Go ahead and run up to his mechanic and just hit right D-pad. It's going to say that you're actually modding a vehicle. Go ahead and walk up to the, uh, you know, to the blue circle, the friend. And the friend's basically going to hit enter with nearby, you know, friends and organization members. You should be, as the duper, you should be kicked off of that mechanics list, go ahead and just kill yourself. All right, you're gonna spawn at the docks. What your friend needs to do now is go ahead and walk out of his MOC, hop into it, drive out of the bunker, and then just leave to creator. All right, that's what he's doing in the top right. Now as the duper, like I said, after we killed ourselves, we're over at the docks. All we gotta do now is request our MOC and then call up the mechanic and call up the car we wanna dupe. Once again, I recommend Benny's vehicles to duplicate. Benny's vehicles are the ones you make the most money off of. The LG Retro Custom is the best. So I've requested my MOC right about now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and request the LG Retro. As you can see in the top right, my friend drove his MOC out and then he's gonna just leave to creator. Now I'm free to do the glitch, okay? You just need him back for like one more step after this, okay? So I'm calling up my mechanic now and I'm just gonna, you know, call up that LG Retro Custom. Uh, there's a few spawn points here, depending on where you want it to go. Just, uh, you know, look in certain directions and stuff like that. It can spawn directly in front of us there, directly to the right of us, or a little bit more you know, one or two o'clock that way. All right, so as you can see in the bottom left, my friend has left the session. My car has spawned over here. I'm just gonna run over to it. And remember, you don't need custom plates on this. We had an RH8 inside of the MOC. That's where the, that's the plate that's gonna go end up merging onto this one. But I just wanted to show you that I have a roll easy plate on there. That's eventually gonna change, okay? I'm gonna merge that RH8 plate onto this one. So once you've called it up, go ahead and hit right D-pad. Uh, so just check it out, roll easy plate. I'm gonna hit right D-pad and then I'm gonna accept that alert. You're gonna get that cool cutscene that you're in the bunker. 
Now at this point, you're actually on an infinite black loading screen. So what you need is you need to invite your friend back in. You can be in an invite only or a close friend session. Obviously, if you're both showing online, close friend session, he can just join you back. Invite only, which is what I was doing it in here. I have to go ahead and send him an invite back. So I send him an invite. I'm just going to forward this a bit. Once he's ex and once he enters the session, you're going to, you know, eventually spawn in on this weird little animation screen. As you can see, he just entered in the top left. Once you're on this and you're sure he's in here, I'm going to go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. All right. Any job should do, but Titan always seems to work perfectly fine. So I'm just going to start up Titan. You're going to get, you know, maybe you might get some weird results, but it basically all works. Once you start up Titan, you're going to load into the lobby, as you can see right here. Just simply back out of it. OK, so back out, confirm that uh, that quit screen and then you're going to spawn kind of like this. You'll go invisible for a little bit, which is OK. That's what happened after the old patch. Go ahead and just exit your bunker. Now, when you exit your bunker, what you should see is you should see your car that you were duping there. This is your brand new dupe. Check it out. Once I enter it, look at the plate. All right. I no longer have a real easy plate on there. That's the plate from the RH8 that I had in my MOC. The original car went over wherever you called it from. This is a brand new duplicate. You need to drive it into your bunker. If you want, you can return your MOC to storage before you go into your bunker. I'm just going to drive it in here and then return my MOC to storage because it's still over at the docks. All right. Where I called it out. All right. So. Right now, I'm just driving in, I'm waiting to spawn in, and then I'm realizing now that I still haven't, you know, gotten my MOC back over here, so I'm just going to go and get my MOC, return it to storage, and then I'm just going to sit here and wait real quick, and you must do this because you must save the car. Right now, the game doesn't register this anywhere, it still registers this as an RH8, okay? So, once you drive it into your MOC, boom, now it is saved, it's a dupe. To rinse and repeat this, you do have to do all those steps again, but... You know, once you get the timing down, guys, it's not too bad. But you wanted some dupe glitches, I'm bringing you two of them right here. Okay, so that's it for this one. Uh, go ahead and put another RH8 in your MOC if you want to go again. And then you do the glitch over again. So whoever wants to dupe just needs an RH8 in their MOC. That's all it is. And you must have the same bunker, guys, okay? All right, on to the second duplication glitch. You're going to need a friend, obviously. You both need the same facility. You want them to be full. Now, you want a bunch of RH8s in there and the car you want to duplicate. So an LG Retro Custom or any Benny's vehicle will work. The Retro sell for the best. You both need Avengers if you're going to be helping each other out. Now, you both want the MOC with the personal vehicle storage or a CEO garage with a mod shop. That's to save the car. We'll get over that. We'll go over that a little bit later. You need the ability to sign in as a CEO or an MC and no custom plates needed for this glitch either, guys. OK, so once again, I'm the duper on the main screen. My friend is the helper in the top right. My friend is going to go ahead and run inside of his Avenger and just sit there and wait for me. I'm in my facility. I'm going to go ahead and run into my RH8 sitting here. And this is where we're going to be setting up to do the glitch. So I'm going to register as a CEO. I'm going to shoot him an invitation and I'm gonna hover over retire, he's gonna hover over the invitation to my CEO. Okay, so that's what's happening now. I'm registering and I'm gonna send him an invite. He's hovering over the invite right now. On his go, he's gonna accept that and I'm gonna retire right when I hear go. So that's what just happened right there. If done correctly, nothing will happen to him. He'll just be standing there chilling, all right? So now, here's the next step. He needs to load up that Martin, Simeon, or Gerald job. Hover over it right now. He's walking up halfway on the door of his Avenger and then he's just going to go ahead and accept the job and start it up. Then he's going to sit on the confirm to quit screen. OK, he's just going to sit there. What I'm going to do as the duper is I'm going to be hovering over register as a CEO. OK, so I'm ready to register as a CEO. He's ready to quit out of the job in the top right. Now, on his go, he's going to say go, hesitate a half a second, and then start spamming A or X. Okay, that's what just happened right there. He's spamming. Right when I hear go, I'm going to go ahead and register and then deregister. All right? So the point is, your friend is exiting there and spamming so that he can exit his Avenger. Okay? And then I, during that little moment of time, I'm registering and retiring. If done correctly, you'll see some of his vehicles. If he has special vehicles and you don't, you'll see his spawn into your, you know, your facility. And then you'll obviously see him running around. Okay? If you see him running around and stuff, you successfully done it. You've done the glitch. You've merged facilities. Just like that. Okay, guys? So... Like I said, I'll leave I'll leave a text tutorial for those timing, you know, steps in the description and the pinned comment so you guys can read along with that in case you didn't get it just with the video. But once you've done that, guys, you've hit the glitch. Okay? 
So at this point, what needs to happen is I need to go ahead and I just need to run into the retro that I'm going to be duplicating. OK, we've merged, you know, everything. He just has to stand in there now. All right. You just need your friend for those timing parts, basically. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and run into this retro. This is the one I'm duplicating and check it out. You see the roll easy plate on there right when I drive it out. I'm going to have the plate from that RH8 that I was sitting in. All right. That's why you need the RH8 in your facility. So I drove out, look at the plate now, 48 DGN or something like that. I'll come in, I'll come to it a little bit closer. But uh, at this point, you wanna go ahead and here we go. Yeah, there you go, 48 GDN, 726. So I need to save this vehicle though. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it my MOC with the personal vehicle storage. Doesn't matter if it's empty or not. It'll just, you know, it'll basically just kind of uh, transfer vehicles. But if you don't have an MOC with the personal vehicle storage, but you have a CEO garage with a mod shop, you can go ahead and take it in there. Right when you go in there, it's going to kick you out, hop back into it really quickly, take it into the mod shop and just modify something on it. All right. And that's how you can also save it if you want to save it that way. But I have an MOC, so I'm just going to press right D pad and drive it in there. It doesn't matter what you have in there. It's just going to transfer it to the facility. Now I've done the glitch. This car is fully saved. All I got to do now is go ahead and drive it out and I can either leave it in here or I can drive it over there and then, you know, put another RH8 in my MOC doesn't really matter. But to rinse and repeat, your friend does have to go back into his Avenger and then you guys have to do the whole glitch again. But that's it. Like I said, once you get the timing down, guys, it's not very bad at all. I will have, you know, a text tutorial in the description and the pinned comment for both these timing methods. Uh, I wanted to show you both because not everybody has an MOC with a bunker and not everybody has a facility. So you got two glitches that are very similar, uh, you know, that you guys can really take advantage of. So here are your dupe glitches. You can dupe any car with these. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, make sure to slap that like button, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're really, really close to that, guys. Let's keep it going strong. All right. Have a good day, guys.